Recently, I was looking in the action list and I saw this action here. Options, preserve trailing values when recording automation. I didn't really remember seeing it before. I'm sure I've used it once in the past, but yeah, it's it, it's kind of a confusing one. And so I figured I would uh, give it a try and figure it out and then maybe share that information with you. So it's currently off and I've got a track here with the volume envelope showing and it's set to latch mode and I'm gonna use my control surface to write in some automation. And as you can see here, when I, you know, wherever I leave my fader, that position is going to be written for the rest of the project, all the way to the end. Let me delete that. We'll enable this, we'll go to the options menu, envelope points, preserve trailing values when recording automation. And so the same as before, I'm just gonna move my fader We'll see the difference here. So as I'm holding the fader, my finger is still on the fader, and you can see that it wants to, it is writing that current value below, but up at the top, it's going to jump back to the original value. And if I was in touch mode, it would, it would jump back to that value as well. So in write mode, latch mode, or touch mode is going to be writing uh, in that sort of way. Let's switch this over to touch mode, see if there is any difference here. Not 100% sure. Uh, so I'm moving the fader. I'm holding it. My finger is still on the fader. If I let go, it jumps back up to the previous value. All right. And so let's turn that option off. Envelope points. Preserve trailing values when recording automation. And let's start here. So I'll pull the fader down. Keeping my finger on it, you can see that that new value is written all the way to the end. And so even though we're in touch mode, it's still kind of like keeping that value all the way to the end. Pretty big difference. It's important to know this option. Hopefully you found this helpful. See you in the next video.